Hey guys, it's Ross. We're here for day three of the Galar Beginnings Tournament. Um, I've done a, a few matches on day three already. They have not gone well. Uh, we got sheer colded by a Lapras. Um, turn one against our Ferrothorn. Uh, and then paralyzed uh, on a Thunder in the same match. Um, so I am... <laughs> I'm really hoping for... Uh, for some good luck here, because we are we are sitting at 16, 18, so like bottom middle of the pack. We'd we'd have to win uh, like quite a few games in a row to have a chance at the 1700s, which is where I'd like to be. Um, but we'll see, we'll see where we get by the end of the day. 1690. Arcanine, Hydreigon, Excadrill, Lapras, uh, Dragapult, Mimikyu. Okay. Um, Full-on traumatized by Lapras, I, <laughs> I will not lie to you. Uh, Mimikyu looks good here. Um, Exodrill looks decent. Uh, I'm a little little apprehensive of the Arcanine, um, but it'd be nice to hit the uh, to hit the Mimikyu pretty hard. Um, hmm. I think I think I'm gonna lead with Mimikyu uh, because Hydreigon and Dragapult. I mean. Does he just lead with the Lapras to get off the G-Max Resonance? Maybe. Um, in which case, it might be... It might be better to lead with, like, uh, Ferrothorn or Gyarados. I actually do like Gyarados here. I think I'm going to lead with Gyarados. I'm definitely bringing Ferrothorn, and then I'm going to bring Mimikyu as well. I think that's our go. Because um, if we lead with Gyarados... Uh, if we lead with Gyarados and can confidently get off a Dragon Dance um, or, like, kill something with a Dynamax move, uh, that puts us in a pretty solid position right from go. But we'll see. Sorry if you can hear my, my cats playing in the background. So what do they got for us first? Is the Excadrill first, which, uh... It is Mold Breaker. I mean, I think I'm okay with this. Uh, Max Rockfall is terrifying, but I think if we Dynamax Max Geyser, he's still faster, um, but the Max Rockfall definitely won't kill us. It's, it, it is, it is risky to go for Dynamax right out the gate, um, it is definitely risky to go for Dynamax right out the gate, especially if, so, if he, if he Dynamaxes and Max Rock falls, uh, he's still faster and, and is probably Focus Sashed if he's got Mold Breaker. Um, it could be worth Dynamaxing going for Max Airstream, because I don't think uh, that way we would break a potential Focus Sash. Um, and the I don't think the Rock Fall would kill us and then we'd outspeed. Um, hmm. I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to Dynamax Max Airstream. He does withdraw, so that's cool. What is he going into? Lapras. That's okay. We have Max Overgrowth. Um, and with a Max Airstream under our belt, uh, we are going to be faster than whatever he's trying to do. Although I guess we're probably going to be faster than the Lapras, no matter what. Chances are Lapras is going to take our max overgrowth very gracefully, um, because Lapras is super, super bulky. Oh, that max airstream does a lot, though. That's nice. Okay. I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I think we definitely go for the max overgrowth. I don't think it'll kill uh, after the Lapras Dynamaxes. Um, but I also don't think, I mean, the Lapras will definitely... Definitely go for the, the G-Max Resonance here. Um, which I think I think we'll take pretty well. We'll see. I mean, the Max Overgrowth could be enough. Uh, the Max Overgrowth could be enough. Mm, not quite. Okay. Grassy Terrain is up. It's weakness policy. It might, uh... Wow, it went right for max lightning. That's definitely gonna kill us. 
But that's okay, because um, we are going to outspeed with uh, with Mimikyu, and I think without the... Um, I think without the G-Max Resonance up, um, I think I think we'll kill it with a play rough from this range. Which I would love. Yeah, I think I think we do have to do the play rough. I don't know if the Shadow Claw would kill. Hopefully we connect. We do. And that is a dead Lapras. So we trade, uh, we trade Dynamaxes here, um, which I think I'm, I think I'm okay with because it means that, uh, you know, obviously the resonance is not up. Um, he does have Excadrill, so Chan I'm, I'm almost certain he goes into the Excadrill here, uh, because Moldbreaker Excadrill is, is a built-in counter to Mimikyu. Um, he may, I mean, I, I just don't think we can predict the Swords Dance. Um, and, and potentially lose Mimikyu. I think we have to go into Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is pretty solid. The sword, a Swords Dance Earthquake will hurt us a lot um, if he Swords Dances here. If he just Earthquakes, we should be totally fine. He does just go for the Earthquake. Um, so yeah, that hurts, uh, but after Leftovers, it's not even going to be a 3-hit KO, and it's not like he can Dynamax and, and fuck us up. Um, I, think, I think the play... I think the play is just to Leech Seed, because I think um, Leech Seed Power Whip kills the Excadrill, assuming Leech Seed connects. He is going to go ahead and withdraw, which I'm also fine with. He goes into Mimikyu. So Leech Seed does hit through Disguise, which is nice. Uh, I mean, what can Mimikyu do to us? Like... Uh, is he is he packing like a does Mimikyu get a fire type move? I don't think so. Um, I mean I no I, I think our I think our play is is to is to sit here and like gyro ball break the disguise and hopefully gyro ball him again. No, he's just gonna go back out into extra drill I guess. Which is okay, because if this thing is sashed, uh, this gyro ball is about to break it. Even though it'll do very little damage, I think. Oh, that's not bad, actually. <laughs> um, so yeah, this, this power whip looks really safe. I wonder if he's choiced. I wonder if he's choiced and he's about to hit us with like a fire type move on Excadrill. That would be so niche. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna power whip. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to predict something I've never seen before in my life. Fisher and it connects, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you? <laughs> That's the second time today I've been okoed by an oko move. I mean, damn, like. Oof. This is the game we're playing, huh? I don't know if so. We we out, we should outspeed. I don't know if a shadow claw, uh, if a if a neutral shadow claw kills Excadrill. If it does, we're still in a position where we could win. But it's hard to bounce back from a Fisher man. Let's see what happens. If he's, I mean, if he's choice scarfed, if he switches out here, he's probably choice scarfed, and then we definitely lose because he'll just iron head us. Nope, he stayed in and fissured, so I do. So he is choice scarfed. Uh, I really don't know why he stayed in on us then, because he definitely had the game if he switched out into Mimikyu, let its disguise break. Um, 1v1'd us with Mimikyu and then switched into Excadrill and Choice Scarf Ironheaded us. Um, I mean, as it stands, it's still, you know, it's it's a, it's a two Mimikyus with damage marked on them with their disguises up. Um, I mean, yeah, we definitely, we definitely just 
Shadow Sneak to break the disguise. I think I think our only guaranteed win is if he like swords dances or something here. Instead of uh instead of Shadow Sneaking to break our disguise, but I can't imagine he would. Just for the Shadow Claw. So here's the question, right? Does he kill us with a shadow sneak? If the answer if the answer is yes, we lose no matter what, because I don't think we kill him with a shadow sneak, so I think we have to shadow claw. I think we have to shadow claw. It could be down to a speed tie. He might this shadow sneak might kill us. If he's adamant, it probably does. Yeah, it's enough. Boy, howdy. Fisher, huh? Choice scarf, Fisher, Excadrill. I mean, I guess that's like that is that is a thing. People people run that or have run it in Battle Spot before. Um, but uh, getting getting losing losing two games to to Sheer Cold and Fisher today uh, is really taking really taking a toll on my soul. We're at sixteen oh five, so we're really like kind of scraping the bottom here now. Let's see what we've got. Togekiss, Dragapult, Cinderace, Excadrill, Rotom Wash, and Flapple. Um, so I really don't know what Flapple does. Uh, I'm, I feel like it's probably the G-Max uh, Flapple, but... Um, Rotom Heat looks pretty good here for Togekiss. It walls Cinderace. Um, it's, it's not bad against Flapple, too. Uh, hits Excadrill real hard. Um... I don't think we're bringing Mimikyu, um, just because of the Exodrill and because the, uh, obviously the, the Cinderace, uh, resists it as well. Um, so I think I wanna... He has, yeah, he has Electric on Rotom Wash, uh, and I feel like Rotom Wash is a pretty common lead, um, so I would be apprehensive about leading with, uh, with Gyarados here. Uh, but Gyarados really does hit a lot of his team really, really strongly. So maybe it's maybe it's worth it to lead Gyarados, bring Ferrothorn, bring Rotom Heat. Yeah, I think that's it. We only hit we only hit Dragapults neutrally across the board, I think. Um, but Dragapult's so frail. I I don't know. I feel like I feel like we have a good chance of if if we can get some Gyarados shenanigans right from Go, uh, we'll be in a good shape. But okay, that's not uh, Rotom. It's Dragapult. If he's leading with it, I wanna I wanna say it's Choice Scarfed. It probably has um, it probably has Lightning Bolt. Like, what does this team look like? Yeah, his his team his team would be super physical if this is uh, if this isn't special Dragapult. Um, so probably probably the safest thing is going right out into Rotom Heat. Because um, I really I really don't want to gamble the Gyarados on on uh, him not having Lightning Bolt. I don't know, maybe he'll just like horn drill us or something and kill our Pokemon. Okay, so I think he's staying in, because um, I don't think there's any way we're faster than a Dragapult. Dragon Darts. Okay. Um, that's I mean that's actually really good for us, because that means that he is Oh crit. Damn. That means that he is physical Dragapult. Um, which means that our Ferrothorn. Did we bring Ferrothorn? I think we brought Fer Ferrothorn. I'm all over the place. I, that's, it's, I'm recovering. <laughs> um, so, does he have Cinderace? And if the answer to that is yes, do we go for a Volt Switch instead of a Will-O-Wisp? Because if we Will-O-Wisp, if we Will-O-Wisp this, um, I don't, yeah, I don't think it's worth. I don't think it's worth the prediction. I think Will-O-Wisping on this uh, Dragapult 
if he does stay in and try to, uh, like, pick us off with dragon darts. No, he is just going to withdraw. Probably, probably right into Cinderace. Nope, his own Rotom. Okay. Well, Burn is, you know, functionally not going to do much to this Rotom Wash. Um... I have to assume that uh, if you switch this thing in, it's max speed. Um, because otherwise, I mean, otherwise we would just outspeed it. I don't think we can very safely go into Gyarados, though. Um, obviously, because if he, if he like, Volt switches instead of, uh, like, Hydro Pumping or something, we'll be in huge trouble. I, I really, I think, I think I want to stay in and Volt Switch, um... It's kind of a risky read, but uh, we really don't want anything else taking a... Uh... The Hydro Pump is going to miss. Uh, which, I mean, thank God. Um... So now I guess we go into Ferrothorn. He has seen all of our team now, so he knows everything we have. Um, I think, I think I'm probably just going to power whip. Uh, I don't want to over predict like a switch into something. I mean, if he has, if he has the Cinderace, right, he goes into the Cinderace. Um, but I, I think he might just, I mean, he might just stay in and try and Will-O-Wisp the Ferrothorn. Um... It really depends. Maybe, maybe Leech Seed is safer. Even, even Stealth Rock is not bad. I think, I think I'm going to Leech Seed. Okay, he does go for the Volt Switch, um, so it's good we didn't Power Whip. Uh, I, I feel like we're going to see Cinderace here. Because we know his Dragapult's physical, so it probably does not have anything for Ferrothorn. But he does go into the Dragapult. So that's interesting, because under, under normal circumstances, I would say that Ferrothorn absolutely walls Dragapult. Uh, physical Dragapult, rather. Uh, so I mean, I guess I like it could be a mixed attacker. Um, I, think, I think the opportunity to... I guess that's the, the the dragon darts really didn't do a ton of damage to us, did it? I don't know why he would go into this thing if he didn't have something for Ferrothorn. I really do not. I haven't seen any mixed dragapults on the ladder. I think we have to play it safe. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into Rotom Heat, anticipating some kind of shenanigans with like Flamethrower or or something like that. If he just Dragon Darts, then I like. Damn. Nope. He does have Flamethrower. Okay. Whew. Good thing we got out of there, because that is gonna do nothing to Rotom. Um, and I am I am presuming that this thing is choiced. Um, getting some nice Leech Seed damage off. Uh, I think our play here, now we know, we know he has Rotom and, uh, Dragapult. We have not seen his third Pokemon still, but I think the safe play is, um, Thunderbolting. Because if he goes into, if he goes into Rotom Wash, the Thunderbolt's gonna do really solid damage. Um, and, uh, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna over-predict and, and go for a Will-O-Wisp on, on something that might already be burned. Okay, he's not choiced. But that is not enough to kill us. How much is our Thunderbolt going to do to this thing? Yeah, not very much. We get the para, though. That's a huge bummer for my opponent. Uh, I still, I really, I don't even know if an overheat is going to kill it from this range, though. 
Um, I think our play now is Volt switching out. So it would have gone first, so I'm assuming... Um, I'm assuming it went for, uh, like, a priority move then? So, like, what, Sucker Punch to try and kill us? Which makes perfect sense. Um, so this thing is going to be left alive after a Leech Seed, but it'll be killed by another one. I think our best bet is, um, since it's at minus two special attack and paralyzed, I think Dragon Dancing is our best bet. And Sucker Punch is going to fail, because we did Dragon Dance. So we're in a really good spot right now thanks to some hacks of our own. Dragapult's gonna go down. I don't know if that uh, gives us a moxie boost or not. It might not. Yeah, we do not get a moxie boost off of the Leech Seed killing. Go straight into Rotom. Um, but we are definitely Dynamaxing uh, and Max Overgrowthing this thing. I feel like he should probably Dynamax too, um, but I don't know. At plus at plus one, we might even we might even take out Dynamaxed uh, Rotom Wash. It may also be Choice Scarfed and outspeed us, um, but I, a Thunderbolt is not going to kill Dynamaxed Gyarados. And if he and if he uh, Dynamaxes, obviously he loses the effects of Choice Scarf, so we would outspeed him. He is Dynamaxing. So we'll see if this max overgrowth at plus one is enough. Because we really do not want to take a max lightning. Big washing machine. Come on, Gyarados. Yeah. Not bad. Okay, so with our with our Moxie and our uh, Dragon Dance, we're going to be sitting at plus two attack, plus one speed. Uh, I think we still don't know what his last Pokemon is, but whatever it is, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Excadrill. Here comes the crescendo. Um, so we're definitely, I mean, we're definitely faster, so we just go for the Max Geyser. It might be Focus Sashed, um, in which case, like, uh, a Rock Slide or something like that would suck. Oh, he could also have Rock Tomb and lower our speed so that he's faster again. That would be interesting. Nope, just Rock Slide which we are going to take just fine. And we'll finish it off with another Max Geyser. Ordinarily, uh, I would feel pretty bad about that paralysis on the Dragapult essentially winning us the game. Um, but, I don't know, it's kind of hard to feel bad for for anyone after getting fissured. Uh, so we'll take what we can get is, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's do one more. 1621. We have 10 battles left. It's still possible. We'd have to, we'd have to win a vast majority of our battles in order to get into the 1700 range. Um, so we'll see. windy out there. You might not be able to hear that and I might just sound like a crazy person. Like I'm dropping some kind of code for the sniper I have trained on my next opponent's house. I li like, I guess I can't, I guess I can't super knock the, like, the Oko Hail Mary, right? Like, there, you've got to you got to respect it. It's only there because of the fact that when it works, like it does, it wins you games. Um, all right, 
So, Tyranitar, Excadrill, Dragapult, Gengar, Melodic, Reuniclus. So, interesting, it looks like my, my opponent has um, a little Weather Core and a little Trick Room Core. Uh, in, in, like, Reuniclus, Mel Melodic, Tyranitar, Excadrill. Um, I'm liking... I'm liking uh, Gyarados here again. Um, just because, uh, I mean, he, he probably has Thunderbolt on, like, Gengar or Dragapult. Eh, I don't know. Those, those, those hit really hard and definitely both outspeed Gyarados. Maybe it's not worth that risk. Um, he's probably going to lead with either Reuniclus or Tyranitar, if I had to guess. Um, and I think... I think either way, Ferrothorn is looking good as a lead. Yeah. Unless the Tyranitar has, like, the niche Fire Punch or something like that. Um, I think, I think Ferrothorn looks pretty good as a lead to me here. Uh... I will definitely bring Rotom Heat because, uh, you know, Lightning Bolt's going to hit Melodic pretty hard, Overheat's going to hit Excadrill pretty hard, um, and it's just nice to have the pivot. Um, and then I guess I'll bring Dragapult in my last slot. Mimikyu might have been... Mimikyu might have been better. Um, in fact, I think, I think, uh, I think Mimikyu definitely would have been a, a better call there, but I was pressed for time. Hopefully the Dragapult will still put in work. I mean, it always does, but I'd like to have Mimikyu to hit his Dragapults. Um, these with Gengar. Gengar learns Flamethrower, right? I'm gonna... You know what? I'm, I am going to check that. I am scared. I don't know. Does Gengar learn Flamethrower? I don't... I feel, I feel like he doesn't... I feel like he doesn't need Flamethrower on Gengar. Given the rest of his team. I think I'm just gonna Gyro Ball. If Gengar learns Flamethrower and he Flamethrowers me... Nope, he subs. Also terrifying, I might add. Um, but I'm glad I did not switch out on that. So our gyro ball should definitely break the sub. Um, which is good, because I really... Sub leftover... Or black sludge, rather. Hmm. We could, we could make a prediction um, and leech seed. Uh, thinking that after he sees us staying in and gyro balling, um, we won't, um, I mean, if he was gonna stay in on the Ferrothorn, it might be, it might be just so much safer to go for gyro ball. Use Will-O-Wisp. This is a funky Gengar. We'll see how much Gyro Ball does, because he's Gengar is so fast and Ferrothorn is so slow. Okay. I actually I, I think after the Black Sludge, I, I don't think the Gyro Ball kills it now. Um So I think our play is leech seeding. Which is a little awkward, obviously. Um but if he, like, G-maxes or something like that, I would love to have the Leech Seed on this thing. It's interesting seeing the, uh, like, the Utility Gengar here. I wonder if it's bulky. Because I don't think it should have taken that Gyro Ball very well. Maybe it's, like, max speed, max HP. Even, because, like, even after the burn, uh, I just, I just feel like Gengar does not take Gyro Balls like that. What does he have for us? He withdrew, which is fine. Yeah, that's really nice for us, actually. Assuming Leech Seed connects, and it does. Which I am happy about. So why, I guess, why the Melodic? Um, 
it probably, I mean, I'm sure it takes a power whip pretty well now, um, because we are burned. Uh, but I don't, I mean, I don't really have a, uh, it must be competitive if it's not, if it doesn't have the flame orb for the, like, Marvel scale stuff. Is it Marvel scale? I think that's what its ability is. Um, I don't, I mean, like, I really don't want to switch anything in on this Melodic, so I think I'm just going to stay in and, and power whip. Like, with Leech Seed up, even with the burn, and as bulky as Melodic is, like, Power Whip, I think it's still gonna hurt. Ice Beam's gonna suck, though. Oh, no it's not. Whoa. <laughs> and now he can't freeze us, because we're burned. That's the secret, the secret tech. Get burned, so that your opponent can't 10% freeze you, because with our luck, that is absolutely how this is, how this has been going. So we see leftovers on Melodic as well. Um... So our opponent, our opponent has a very, very bulky, bulky team going on here. I am definitely, I'm definitely staying in and power whipping again. I really do not see a reason not to after how well we took that ice beam. Um, and like he could go back into Gengar or something like that. Um, but okay, we are like we are definitely going to win any kind of stall war here. Uh, unless we miss our power whips. Um, unless we miss our power whips. Hmm. Because between between leech seed and leftovers, we're consistently recovering at least as at least as much as melodic is uh, recovering and dealing damage at the same time. Um, I yeah. I, this unfortunately this isn't very interesting. Um, but we're definitely staying in and power whipping. We hit, uh, first. So are they dragon tailing? Yes. Which is totally fine by me, because they'll take iron barbs damage. It does literally one point of damage to us. Um, and Melodic's still leech seated. Uh, so I think this is actually great for us. Brings out Dragapult, too. Uh, I think, I mean, I think going straight for the, uh, the choice specs Thunderbolt is, is the play. I mean, he might have, um, he might have Excadrill or something like that in the back. Uh, right? He did have Excadrill, didn't he? Yes. Um, the choice spec Shadow Ball might actually be enough to take it out. Uh, and it would hit, like, if he went into, like, Reuniclus or something like that, it would hit it really, really hard. Or Gengar. Um. I'm nervous about it, though. No, I bet the, I bet the choice specs Shadow Ball kills. We're about to find out. If it doesn't and he Ice Beams us, like, that was a huge mistake. But it does. Okay. So we are in a pretty good spot. We know his Gengar isn't like Choice Scarfed or anything like that, so he can't go into Gengar and uh, Revenge kill us. But he does still go into Gengar. Um, I guess if he... I think, I think we're going to Dynamax Max Phantasm, because I think he'll probably... He'll probably G-Max. If he's... If he's Going into Gengar on our Dragapult, I feel like I feel like that's I feel like that's what he's doing. So getting that extra damage and having some survivability in case it doesn't kill, because I do have a feeling that this Gengar is decidedly bulkier. Um, nope, I, we're just gonna kill with the Max Phantasm, which I am a okay with. So now it's a question of what he has in the back, because he still has not Dynamaxed. Um, he still is not Dynamaxed. Tyranitar. Well, I mean, I feel uh, that's, that's okay. Like, he's gonna take our special hits pretty well. Um, but, uh, we can reduce his attack with max worm wins. Um, Yeah. No, I think, I think we're in a good spot. Because a Tyranitar, again, unless it has Fire Punch, um, it's not doing a ton to Ferrothorn. Um, and we can kind of, like, we can play the stall game with Leech Seed if we have to. I, 
I... That man's hoodie is so loud. With that... With those pants, too. This guy really went for it. Good for him. Like, he's not pulling it off, but it, what's important is that he feels like he is. So the Max Mormon comes through first, obviously, so we'll lower the attack stat before he even gets a chance to hit us. That does a big fat nothing to Tyranitar. Um, so we just have to hope that we're going to take his, like, Max Darkness gracefully-ish so that we can get another attack reduction on him. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, obviously, obviously we are going to, you know, we are going to lose Dragapult. Um, but reducing Tyranitar's attack twice, knowing that there's not really much he can do about it, um, feels pretty okay. I'm, I'm willing to bet, but he brought it, he brought it alone on, like, a bulky team, so I bet it's, like, uh, I bet it's, like, weakness policy or something like that. He goes for the max steel spike. Which is actually not going to kill us after the second attack reduction, which is great. Uh, does the sandstorm kill us though? No. So we are going to get a free uh, shadow ball on this thing, um, right? Because we, yeah, we're locked into we're locked into the shadow ball. Um, uh, yeah, and I, I I think I don't think we have a, a reason to to fool around and and like switch out and try and preserve the, the Dragapult. I'd rather just mark some damage on the Tyranitar. Dragapult did fantastic this game. I'm glad I brought him. Because if we had if we had brought the Mimikyu anticipating uh, what it was good against, it would have it would have really whiffed. Um, so now we do have Ferrothorn and Rotom left. Uh I think the play is to go into Ferrothorn and Leech Seed. Um, again, it's kind of it's kind of unfortunate that it's coming down to like this this sort of like bulky stall kind of thing. Um, but after two attack reductions against a Ferrothorn, like even if it has Fire Punch, I think we're I think we're in an okay spot. Um, I do think I do think Leech Seeding is is better than just starting to go for uh, power ups. He does have Fire Punch. But yeah, after two attack reductions, it's not even a two-hit KO. And we get Iron Barb's damage, too. Or at least he does connect as well. So I think that all but guarantees us the game. Um, since that Fire Punch is not going to kill us, we have Rotom in the back, who would get some Leech Seed recovery. Um, and we've got, you know, Power Whip and Gyro Ball. I think, I think we just go for the Gyro Ball, because even though it's going to do less than the Power Whoop would, I'm assuming, um, uh, it's guaranteed to hit, and between Iron Barbs, Gyro Ball, and Leech Seed, I think this Tyranitar is going to die. Yeah, definitely. There's the weakness policy. I think it is too little too late though. I think the leech seed kills it here. We are we are pulling it back towards the end here. Um, bouncing bouncing back from the the fissure uh, and the uh, the sheer cold I took off screen. Um, so <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully. Hopefully we've got more in the tank. Hopefully, hopefully we can get to that seventeen hundred mark. I might, I might even end up um, posting a couple of videos today, trying to get there. Just because I don't know, it's fun to fun to watch the climb. At least I think so. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, do all that YouTube shit down below. You know the drill, and uh, I'll see you around.